Hi students, this is your language arts reading for the day. Tricks will not fetch, fetch. And notice with the words that end in T-C-H, you don't really hear the T, it's just kind of like um, the diagraph ch that we studied, it has the same sound, but there's a T in there, but we don't really hear that T, so we have to be careful. But we're gonna be reading today, tricks will not Fetch. So we have to figure out who trick tr tricks is. Rick had a pet dog, tricks. Ah, oh, so tricks is Rick's pet dog. Tricks did not do tricks. Rick did pitch sticks. Tricks just sat. Then a bug did. Sting tricks. Oh no, poor tricks. Tricks did scratch. Tricks did not get up to catch the bug. What will I do with tricks? said Rick. Tricks will not fetch. Tricks will not get up to catch a bug. Tricks just sit. So what's the issue going on with tricks? What's the problem? Shout it out. Tricks won't do anything. She won't do any tricks. She won't go fetch she, or she won't even catch a bug. Well, said Rick's pal, Mitch, I do not think you can call him tricks. I think you can call him Lump. <laughs> a lump just sits. That is what I will do, said Rick. I will call him Lump. So what now what's going on in the story? They are they want to change the dog Trix's name to Lump because he doesn't do any tricks. Just then. Trix sat up. Quick, pitch a stick, said Mitch. Rick did pinch a stick. Trix got up. Trix ran to fetch the stick. I think Trix did not want you to call him Lomp, said Mitch. I am glad that I can still call him Trix, said, said Rick. Ah, oh, so when they were about to change the dog, the dog's name, what happened? The dog started to do tricks, right? He was like, oh, I don't want to be called Lump, so I better be doing something. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy the story. Tricks will not fetch. And if you have any questions about this passage, please let me know. Thanks.